Hi everyone, just making a video to show you the best practice for distributing student work and then quickly being able to review and provide feedback to the students at home. So right now I'm looking at a fitness assignment inside one of the sections in my content library. I know none of the kids can actually come into this space because it's read only there. Now you can instruct your students to right click on this particular page and paste it inside somewhere into their workbook to complete the task. But to make this more effective, it's better practice to actually, for starters, have a content library that resembles what they have in their book. So you can see here, I've got biomechanics, fitness and functional anatomy, and I've got the same section. So when I have a particular worksheet, I can then instruct kids to put it into the same section in their notebook, and I'm not looking for it in whatever section they've pasted it in. So right now, I am going to show you the class notebook tab up the very top. And what you want to try to fall in the habit of doing is that when you have a page like this assignment, I'm going to select the distribute page option. And I want to also point out before I go ahead and distribute this page that the first option distribute page gives this particular assignment to everyone. I do have the options to give it to individuals, to set up groups within a class. So I can set up a extension group, a mainstream and a support group. Then I also have cross notebook distribution. So this particular page can get pushed out to kids in a different class if you are teaching numerous classes of the same subject. And then finally, good to know that if you make a mistake, you can actually delete a page that you've pushed out. I'm gonna go ahead and select the first option, distribute page, which gives this to all the kids in my class. And I'm gonna select fitness section and then click on distribute. And a few seconds later, this is now ready for the students to work on directly in their book. So my instruction to my class would be that I've pushed the page out and they can start working on it inside their fitness section. So now how do we review student work? Well, many staff have been clicking on the drop down menus and clicking their way through finding sections. But the best way now to review the student work is again in the class notebook tab, you'll find a review student work button. And if I click on that, it's going to prompt me to say, what section do you want to review? And I'll review fitness. I'll say next. And then it will give me a list of pages I want to review. And I'll click on the fitness assignment. That then lets me click on my first student's name, Terry. I can see exactly what she's done. And I can click on screen and start providing feedback. However, one of the things we heavily promote is your ability to go insert and click on audio recording. This is now recording. If you're using the web version, you might get prompted to allow access for the microphone. However, if you're using the app, which has got way more features, you might find the, the giving a feedback a lot simpler. I'm gonna select allow, and now this is recording my audio, so I would go ahead and give specific feedback, and I press stop. And then I would then tag the next student. But you're only clicking one time to open up each student's assignment. So get familiar with the class notebook tab and the distribute page options and review student work. Okay, I hope that helps.